Hey everyone, I'm Bob from World 5 List. And from terrorizing the seas to their gigantic teeth, here are seven crazy facts about the Megalodon. Number seven, its size. The Megalodon was the largest shark ever documented and perhaps the biggest predator to ever exist. Scientists have described its appearance as being similar to that of a longer, fatter version of the Great White, and some people think they've also looked a bit like the basking shark and the sand tiger shark. Now, regardless of any of that, its strength and its size rank it as being one of the most powerful creatures ever known. The size of the Megalodon is a topic of controversy among the scientific community. A full skeleton has never been recovered, and it's unlikely that one ever will be. For now, though, estimates are based on fossilized teeth, vertebrae, and poop. That's right, poop. You heard me correctly. The generally accepted theory within the scientific community, based on fossilized teeth, is that the megalodon could grow up to 59 feet or 18 meters in length. That's about three times the length of a modern day great white shark and a little less than twice the size of a modern day whale shark, an estimate that the Natural History Museum in London agrees with. However, according to other expert opinions, including some that have been cited in the Encyclopedia Britannica, the Megalodon had a maximum length that was closer to 80 feet or 25 meters, which is huge. Still though, some scientists do believe that the Megalodon was much smaller than 80 feet or even 59 feet. Marty Becker, a paleontologist and professor at William Patterson University who specializes in shark research, claims that the megalodon may have had a maximum length of just around 33 feet or even about 10 meters. That's the same size as the modern day whale shark. Not many seem to agree with Dr. Becker's measurement, however. The general consensus of the megalodon size still remains at around 59 feet or roughly 20 yards. Does anyone really know the size of the Megalodon for real? Well, not really, but it seems like almost everyone can agree on one thing. It was huge. Number 6. Does the Meg still exist? Debates about whether or not the Megalodon could be lurking in the depths of modern day seas have broken out on social media from time to time, especially after the release of movies like Jaws and now The Meg. Shark Week on the Discovery Channel even. It would seem like a fairly plausible suspicion that the Megalodon could still exist, given the scientific community's own admission that only about 5% of the oceans around the world have been explored. Can you even believe that? <laughs> only 5%? However, most experts are certain that the Megalodon is a long extinct species. But why? Well, they have a few reasons. Well, for one, only fossilized Megalodon teeth ranging from 2.6 to 23 million years ago have been discovered. Now, we would, of course, find newer Megalodon teeth if the species still existed, because sharks periodically lose and regenerate their teeth so there would be no shortage of them washing up on the ocean shores or being found in its waters. Megalodon teeth are also very recognizable, based on both their size and shape, so it's unlikely that scientists have mistaken modern-day Megalodon teeth as those belonging to other species. There's also no contemporary evidence of Megalodon bite wounds. The most recent Megalodon teeth marks known to the scientific community, according to them, are 2.6 million years old, and the same age as the most recent fossilized remains of the species. If the Megalodon still existed, its bite marks would most likely make an occasional appearance on the carcasses of whales and smaller shark species, and there might even be a shark attack here and there. Last but not least, the Megalodon was a widespread species that made appearances in temperate waters around the globe, so if it did still exist, there would be no question because it would have a known presence in almost all of the world's oceans and seas. Number 5. Megalodons vs. Humans 
Now, like I said, people do fantasize about the possibility of a face-to-face -face confrontation with the Megalodon. I'm not really sure why, because I would never go swimming in the ocean ever again if I found one. According to scientific research, the most recent fossils date back to 2.6 million years ago, an extinction date that's commonly accepted within the scientific community. However, the University of California Museum of Paleontology finds that the earliest human-like species emerged 2.5 million years ago. So there's a 100,000 year gap between the known existence of the Megalodon and the first appearance of humans. However, genetically distinct modern-day humans, known more formally as Homo sapiens, have only been around since about 350 to 260,000 years ago, making an encounter between them even more unlikely. If there were megs in the water, we would definitely know it. Therefore, all signs point toward an interaction between megalodons and humans being virtually impossible. Number 4. The Top of the Food Chain the megalodon was a major predator that fed primarily on large marine mammals like whales and dolphins, and according to Discovery, it most likely also ate other sharks. It was also known to snack on fish, gigantic ocean mammals like whales and sea turtles, and basically anything it could get into its mouth that was edible. But very few animals ever preyed on the megalodon, and this only happened under certain circumstances like a group attack, which I'll tell you later about. Generally speaking though, the megalodon was the king of the marine food chain, and nearly all other sea creatures had reason to both fear and avoid it. Its method of attack involved disabling its prey using its flippers and tail, according to the BBC, and then it would go in for the kill, using its 276 serrated teeth to rip its target's flesh to shreds, cutting through the meat like soft butter. Number 3 those terrifying teeth. With a bite strength of about 24,000 to 41,000 pounds, it's no wonder that it was the most feared member of the food chain. Fossilized teeth are the most commonly recovered megalodon remains, and therefore one of the few of its body parts that scientists have been able to accurately determine the size of. Otherwise, everything else was just cartilage. Some of the more defining characteristics of its teeth include a large size, <laughs> well, duh, along with fine serrations, a robust structure, and a triangular shape. Now, like the great white shark, the tooth met the jaw at the step angle, and megalodon teeth are the largest of any known shark species, measuring up to 7.1 inches in slant height, or diagonal length. You can find them yourself on certain beaches all over the world, so you should keep them because sometimes they're valuable. Because of all the megalodon teeth that have been discovered, we have a pretty accurate idea of what its entire mouth and jaw look like. In fact, in Japan in 1989, a complete set of megalodon teeth would be discovered. The teeth are scary, but in modern times they've become a collector's item. There are even entire websites that are dedicated to the sale of its teeth, with prices ranging from as low as $70 for a 3.7 inch tooth to anywhere between $540 to over $1,000 for a 6 inch tooth. They're also a fashion statement of sorts, because you can in fact buy necklaces that are made out of their teeth. Number 2. Why it went extinct Whales were a large part of the megalodon's diet, however, the two didn't really evolve equally. Whales are mammals and possess the ability to thermoregulate, which eventually led them to migrating toward colder waters. The megalodon, on the other hand, did not develop the capability and were unable to follow their prey into those colder waters. Some scientists actually believe that the megalodon went extinct as a result of a diminished ability to hunt the whales, so it's just one theory. Fossilized remains of other creatures containing large shark bites indicate that the megalodon snacked on whales and smaller sharks, many of which went extinct shortly before the megalodon met its own demise around 2.58 million years ago. Due to the timing, some scientists actually believe that climate change is ultimately to blame for their extinction. Cooling waters could have been the cause of a collapse of several species of its prey, which led to a diminished food supply. 
While most sharks are opportunistic feeders, some, including the megalodon, are known for more specialized diets, making them more prone to dying out in the event and changes of global temperature. While these theories do make sense, the reasons behind the extinction of the megalodon and its various prey are yet to ever be proven. And number one, the megalodon's enemies. Now even the top predator is going to get attacked from time to time, and that includes the megalodon. One animal that's known for being able to put up an impressive fight against it was known as the squalodon, an extinct species of a toothed whale. Now, unlike the megalodon, which was a lone traveler, prehistoric whales had the tendency to travel in pods. Moving in groups would give them extraordinarily smart creatures an obvious advantage against solitary swimmers, making up for, in numbers, what they lacked in size. The squalodon also had teeth that were made for biting and shredding, and was therefore well equipped for self-defense. When a megalodon moved in to attack one, the latter's travel mates quickly came to its aid. And that's not just one or two sets of sharp teeth, but several more. The Leviathan was also a prehistoric whale with a huge set of teeth, and they may have overlapped as well and could have been impressive fighters in their own right. To put it simple, the Megalodon likely would not have attacked a Squalodon without sustaining injuries of its own. Remains of the Squalodon skull contain signs of what appears to be prehistoric echolocation systems, translating to the possibility of coordinated attacks against the Megalodon. Thanks for watching. What did you think about these facts? And what do you know about the Megalodon? Have you seen the movie? Let me know all about it in the comments below. Be sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you next time on World 5.